Hi guys, welcome back. We are starting a new unit today, unit four, lesson one in phonics. So let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, hold on. I have to hide everything. And put it in present mode. Okay, first grade, unit four, lesson one. Our learning targets today, I can blend and segment one syllable words. I can read one syllable words with the er spelling and I can spell and write tricky words. So we have a new list of spelling words this week. These are words that you will be studying at home. The words this week are the days of the week. The days of the week are all proper nouns, so they all get a capital letter. So you need to make sure when you're practicing these words and on the spelling test that you have to put a capital letter or to be counted wrong, okay? You should know these words already because of doing calendar but make sure you practice, 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 and always put that capital letter on them. So this week's theme words, we have, I'm gonna use my little mouse over here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and our tricky word is would, like would you help me please, okay? But notice all of these words have capitals at the very beginning and they all end with D-A-Y. It's the first half of the word that changes, all right? Now, Wednesday may be your tricky word in your spelling words because this area right here, wed, you hear Wednesday, you don't hear that D, okay? So this area right there will cause some issues probably. So make sure you start studying those words. So if we look at worksheet 1.1, 1 .1, let me hide this bar again. This is our 1.1 that will be sent home with this. Okay, it's got your letter at the top, talking about our new reader this time. And it's about Vern, who is a zookeeper and he keeps all types of animals at the Green Fern Zoo. All right, there's your spelling words for the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then there's your tricky word, all right? Okay. So let's go back to our slides. Back in present mode again. Okay, so today we will be learning a new sound, er, as in her. Notice that power bar is a long power bar, so it is a very familiar spelling. The following words have the er sound at the beginning. So repeat these after me. Earth, early, earn, and urgent. Great job. Now notice urgent. It doesn't have an er, does it? It has the ur, but it makes the er sound. The following words have the er sound in the middle. So repeat these after me. You have burn, clerk, circus, fern, and lurk. Notice the er sound in these. You have the ur that sounds like er. You have the er here, but in circus, you have the ir that sounds like an ER. Then in fern, you have the ER, and in lurk, you have UR. 
So the following words have the er sound at the end. Repeat these after me. Her, sister, brother, cover, and later. Notice they all end with er. Great job. Now I'm going to say some riddles. Each riddle has the er sound. Raise your hand when you think you know the answer. This is the color of some grapes and is also the color you get when you mix red and blue. What do you think the color is? Purple, great job. This is a kind of animal that has wings. A bird, wonderful. This is a person who helps a doctor. Ooh, a nurse, awesome job. Some people have straight hair while others have curls, great job. This is a piece of clothing that you wear over the top of your body. So what do we wear on the top? A shirt, awesome. This is something that is like a dress, but only covers the bottom of your body. A skirt, great job. This is a time when you celebrate the day you were born. What is it? It's a birthday, awesome. When you don't eat and drink for a while, you feel hungry and what? Thirsty, great job. So the er sound, her, verb, and term. Let's trace the ER on your desk. So everybody make the ER on your desk. Great job. Now it says we're gonna trace the spelling in blue instead of green because the ER sound has both a consonant and a vowel. Notice the E here is the vowel and the consonant is the R. So now we're using blue for a vowel and a consonant. The vowel sound er is not the same as the consonant sound er that we've learned before. For example, we have the word red, r, and then we have her, er. Do you hear the difference? Yeah, r and er. So there is a big difference. The sound er is not the same as the vowel sound e followed by the er sound. So let's look here. Him, eh, her, er. Do you hear the difference? Eh and er, yes. So let's look at worksheet 1.2. Okay, let me hide this bar so I can get there. All right, on 1.2, this is where we're practicing writing the er, the e and the r. Notice on line one and line two that you are going to write the er on both of the lines. Then you skip down to the next line. What word is that? Her. You're gonna practice writing her on those two lines. Now guys, don't just write one or two words. This word is small. You should be able to write that word at least four times on that second line. So fill in those lines, please. Practice, practice. Our next word there, notice it's got a capital B, so it is a proper noun. The word is Bert. It is a man's name. So make sure when you write it, write it with a capital B. And you can write that word several times also on those lines. Our next word, perk, perk. You should be able to write that several times on those two lines also, okay? Now, 
on the back of that sheet, it says print the words on the line where they fit best. All you're doing is writing this word under the correct picture. Do not write the other word, okay? That goes with the other picture. So like for example, fern, which one of these is a fern? It's this one. So you're gonna write fern over here. Leave this one blank. Okay, then you've got herd and then perch. All right, and then when you're done with those sheets, you turn those back into me. So let's go back to our slides. Get back in present mode. All right, so our learning targets, I can blend and segment one syllable words. I can read one syllable words with the er spelling and I can spell and write tricky words. All right, guys, thank you for working so hard today for me and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.